Okay, how, how's everybody doing today? Uh, this is Joe with USA DTF Transfers, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, half toning for DTF. Um, a lot of people think that uh, it's not possible, but it's definitely possible. Um, and it's definitely important. It can help in a lot of ways. It can help by, uh, it makes your print softer. Um, definitely eliminate that nasty white haze. Uh, a lot of people want to submit submit images that have, um, let's see, why aren't we, there we go, um, you know, that have a fade, that fade into the shirt like this. Um, and I know you don't understand because you're not in the printing world itself, so that's why I'm here to explain to you how this works. Okay, so when you have semi-transparent paint, pixels like right like you have here then um <clears throat> the dtf technology is going to pick up pick up all this and it's going to try to underbase it because there has to be white underneath every single part of the image in dtf because the adhesive only sticks to white so when you have something like this and if there's solid white under it or white under it, then, I mean, it just gives you a really, really nasty haze. If you've ever ordered transfers before, DTF transfers, and you get this white haze around um, the edges, and you're wondering, you know, what the heck is going on? Why is it like that? Well, that's why, because um, you had soft pixels or semi-transparent pixels. So this is what has to happen, okay? So we're going to go through the steps, and we'll do this for you. <coughs> Excuse me so that you don't have to do it. But for those of you out there that want to learn how to do it, this is how it's done. All right, so this particular image was sent in for a quote by a customer, and they wanted this 15, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, 15 by 20 um, on the shirt. And yes, I did tell them that if you actually put something that big on your shirt, on the front of a t-shirt, you are going to have a bulletproof vest, a real bulletproof vest that you're wearing on your chest. Um, that would go for, especially screen printing, you know. Um, but if it's black on a white shirt, it wouldn't be so bulletproof. But if you, you know, with screen printing, but if you are doing DTF, then <clears throat> it's definitely going to, it's definitely going to, you're, you're going to have this, you know, this big kind of sticker feel on your chest. So, we, you know, nobody wants that. So they didn't understand, but we'll see. Anyhow, this is how we're going to do it. Okay, so we're going to take this image here and we're going to copy this image. And we're going to open a new document. And we'll paste it in. All right, then we need to, first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that uh, the resolution of the image is at 300. All right, so we'll go ahead and put it on up to 300. We have to zoom out. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do, you want to make sure that you're doing is uh, image light when you're, when you're going to half tone anything. Um, you want to have your uh, shirt color behind it. You need to do that. And the next thing we want to du duplicate this layer because we always want to duplicate our original. Um, that way, if you need to go back and edit or anything like that, <clears throat> you still have the original layer without the background on it. So, all right, so here's the steps we're going to take. All right, so... We've put our background behind it, and now we're going to we are going to merge these layers together. Okay, and then the next step, we want to duplicate this layer, and we want it to be a new document. Okay, so then here we go. This is we we'll probably have to rewind this because when I learned it, I had to I had to rewind and uh, keep practicing until I got it. So the first step you want to do is you want to go to Image, Mode, and Grayscale. I'm going to make that grayscale, okay? So after that, 
then we need to go up to image, adjust, and levels. All right, so this is not too bad. These edges aren't very uh, bad at all. If they were more faded, then um, we would definitely want to, we would definitely want to bring the, we definitely, let's see, we definitely want to bring that in some, those edges in some so that, because when you are half toning, um, you know, the, the more it fades into nothing, the, uh, the smaller the dots are going to be. I mean, that goes for screen printing and that also goes for DTF. Um, so when, you know, in screen printing, when you get those type of tiny, tiny dots, you don't hold them in your screen. Um, you can't, so they don't print on, um, you know, on your, on your garment. So, and it's, it's the same with DTF. If they're too small, then they're not going to, they're not going to hold on the film. You're not going to, they're going to stay on the film. They're not going to come off the film. So you could get some jaggedness and, and that type of thing. And, you know, that's definitely not what we want. We want to try to get the best looking image we could possibly get. So this one's not too bad. Um, so we really don't need to mess around with it. All right. So let's see here. So, um, we don't want this entire thing halftone. If we leave this like it is, it's it's going to halftone in here, which is kind of okay because, you know, um, with DTF, it's a solid print. And so that gives it that, um, you know, kind of a sticker feel, I guess. Um, what we do is we put a piece of duck cloth on the second press so it takes away that flat, you know, uh, flat feel to it and it gives some texture. Uh, but it's even better if you can put some half tones in here and that way it's more breathable and it's softer and it's going to wear a whole lot better. But uh, I don't think we want this entire thing to be um, half tone. So what we'll do is we'll bump our black up because black, um, anything black is going to it's not going to half tone when it's as it gets. See, like that, then we won't have any half tones within this, uh, you know, these areas that are solid black, right? Right through here and all of this, this is going to half tone. Okay, so let's put a little bit of half tone in that so we can, you know, get some of that uh, bulletproofness out of it. All right, so then, and like I was saying with the edges, if these edges were fading further, um, you know, fading away completely so that we wouldn't have those, lose all those dots, we would want to bring the white in some. If you can see the edges coming in like that, if you can look there and see that up in this area, they're coming in like that. And that's going to give us, it would it would give us less of a um, small dot. So dots wouldn't be so small, we wouldn't lose them. Okay, so, but I don't really think we need to do that on this image. So we're just going to go ahead and say, okay, maybe bring this black in just a little bit more. Okay, and just click okay. And you see here, we're going to lose the color in these, but we're going to bring that back. You'll see that in just a minute. Um, so then the next step we want to do is you want to go to image mode, image mode and bitmap. Okay. So flatten all the layers. Okay. We want to make sure that these both input and output are at 300 and we want to make sure that we are on halftone screen. Just click OK. Now with the frequency, if you have straight lines in your um, in your graphic, then you want to go with like, um, let's see, you want to go with a, well, the, the frequency is the dot size, okay? So, and then you have the angle here. So the bigger, the higher the number of frequency, then actually the smaller the dot is. So you don't want to go too small with your dots. 
and you obviously don't want to go too big. So 35 seems to be a really good number for DTF. And screen printing, I like to go 50 to 55, 55 if it, if it can. Um, that's really hard to do, though. Um, so we usually went with like 50, um, sometimes 45, because you couldn't hold those smaller dots. But So if you have fade outs like this and they're not hard edges, if you use a 22 angle, then you'll see that you'll you really won't be able to discern the half tones from what's going on on the whole image. Um, this will default to forty five, your angle at forty five, and then you'll really be able to notice the half tones in the image. So you can play around with it, but I found and from the videos that I watched to learn how to do this. Uh, 22 is the angle that works best. All right, make sure you have a round dot and just click OK. And then if you zoom in here, you can see the you can see the half tones here. All right, so we have no more fade. You're not going to get any more like these little bitty, bitty dots here. Probably won't hold those, but that's OK because we're going to hold these right here. Um, but you know, you with this half tone like this, you won't have any of that white haze because these dots will be underbased, and there will be anything around them. That is as long as you have your printer lined up. If you're a printer, um, we have some more half toning here, and that's okay. It's 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 very faint, but that's okay because it is going to make the shirt a lot more breathable. All right. So our next step, you want to you want to press uh, Control A which will select everything, and then Control-C, which will copy it. And we're going to come back over here into our document, and then we want, to, uh, we want to put on a layer mask on that layer there. And then you want to hover over the mask, and hold down your Alt key, and click it. And then Control-V to paste in the image. And then if you click away from it, hold on a second, I messed up. Hold on a second, because we have to invert our image. So we're going to say Control-I. All right, so there we go. And then we want to do a new layer, and we want to have put our background back in there. So we're going to go to Fill, Color. I think white's already chosen. Yep, just want to make sure. Okay, there it is. But you can see we did lose this color here, and we lost it here, and we lost it here. But we're going to bring that back. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to paint on the mask. Okay, so we're going to select the mask. All right, so we're going to. Um, we're going to select the mask by holding Alt, and there we go. So what we need to do is we need to come in here and we need to paint this uh, this back in. All right. So we want to choose our pencil tool as opposed to the paintbrush because the paintbrush will give you semi-transparent pixels. So let's choose our paintbrush. We're using white. We're going to. I'm just going to do a few areas right here. I don't want to make the video too long. So I'm going to raise this up some. And then we're going to go ahead and start painting here. Paint this back in. Right. I'm going to paint this in real quick. And you'll see how we've got our color back. Okay, so if we have, if, you know, if we're doing this for you, of course, you know, there's going to be a fee involved or you can learn to do it yourself and then you can just submit, you know, your, your transfer source like this. That would be great, but we'll be happy to do it for you. Um, all right, so let's see what we got. All right, see, there it is. Alrighty, so we got our half tones. We got half tone in here. 
Uh, it's going to make it, like I said, it's going to make it a lot softer, a lot more breathable. And we, we could go in here and paint this solid, you know, repaint this and also paint the lips and we'd get full color. But because of, you know, I don't want the video to go too long. We won't do that today. All right. So that's how you have tones. So if you've got any questions, just let us know here at uh, USA DTF Transfers. We'll be happy to help you out. Um, and we'll see you next time. Peace.